Now Astrid is ready to do some more adventuring. Like we have gone on little walks and stuff, but she's the size of a hippo. I tell you this horse gets next to no hard feed, just a token amount to get her nutrients in and so that she has something as well while the others eat. Hey Rue. Um, but she, she's massive, she's fat. I'm not entirely sure she could be classed as a beast and that, that is not something that I want. So she needs to start doing some proper work now. Um, so I'll ride her out, but I also want to do lots of taking her in hand and long reining and, and untacked walks, tacked up walks, not just all riding. Um, but all of the hacks around here are on road and the ground is quite hard everywhere there isn't road and her front feet still aren't particularly strong. So today, um, the hoof boot shop are coming out again to fit Estrid with some front hoof boots. I've really loved Tizzy's boots. She's going really well in them. Her feet are really good. They don't come off. Seem to be doing well, really well in terms of wear. They're easy to put on and they stay on. So um, we're gonna get Estrid a pair because she's not the same size as Tizzy, so they can't share. Um, and I also think we will get her to have a look at Rue, even though he's shod, to see if she can guesstimate what size boot he would need. Because I still have to sedate him to shoe him, if we're out on course, I don't know whether we'd get a spare shoe back on. So I need a backup plan. I have got a backup boot, but it's a different make and it's kind of more of a welly. It's just like a, you, it kind of goes over the top. It's a bit of a, a spare tire to get you to the farrier. Whereas I think Rue needs a boot that can get us for the rest of the ride. Um, hopefully he won't lose a shoe, but I always like to have a plan B. So we'll get Estrid first to have her first pair of front boots. I'd like to keep her barefoot for as long as possible. Um, and I would like her not to have to have boots, but her feet are in good enough condition. They're way, way better than they were. Um, she's been on the Kevin Bacon like hoof formula and we've been um, doing the dressing every other day and stuff. So they're way, way better than they are. Ben the Farrier has done a really good job at trimming. Um, she had quite a big crack, so he, took a little bit of the hoof away at the bottom so when she rolls over there's not pressure on the crack um, so it is actually looking really really good right so today we've got we've got the equine fusion we've got the scoop boots and we've got the flex boots in the next couple of weeks we're actually going to have a new brand which is the explorer magics so hopefully, um, kind of especially for endurance riders, they may be the next kind of suitable boot. Oh, cool! Right then. Right. So we'll start. We'll have a look at the scoots to start with. Um, she does have still, like you say, quite misshapen feet. Um, although they are starting to look a bit better. One's slightly more at a higher, higher angle than the other. Yeah. Um, so if we have a look at this one for a scoot boot, this is a two slim, which I've just picked out the bag and I'm guessing you're good at this. Guessing this <laughs> will be the one. So if we'll have a. Come on, sweetie. I know. It. I know. Estrid, don't show me up. <laughs> so, I'm going to have a look at this one first. If I can get it on the foot. There we go. Just make that sure that's pushed on nicely. So, we'll let her put her foot down where she wants to put it. <laughs> so, obviously, these are only the scoot boot shells. Yeah. So at the moment, obviously with the shell, um, you can already see there's actually quite a lot of gapping. So even though they do fit the sole of the foot, where it is, so when you obviously when then do it up, you put a bit of force, force on that. Oh, you're not Tizzy, are you? <laughs> Tizzy would stand still. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can just see that, especially on this side, whether you want to bring the camera around, there's still quite a lot of gapping here. Oh, yeah. So I think, so even though it does fit this side, but due to the flare, there's quite a bit of gapping at the top. So I'd just be conscious of the fact that a boot may end up twisting. Mm -hmm. So, but in terms of on the back of the heel, that fits quite nicely. You kind of just want to be able to get, put it down. Stop being silly. You just want to be able to kind of get your finger or your thumb kind of tightly down the back like that. But yeah, in terms of the fit, her feet weren't as flared. I would be a bit more confident, but due to the gap, yeah, I'd just say they're not not completely ideal especially if you want to use for endurance and you know go further and further so we'll have a look at it on the other foot good girl i know 
you just see on the actual sole of how she how she would land so she just slightly twisted from just around here where she wears so i'll have a look at the size too slim on this but yeah yeah so we could close that together like we would if we were putting a scoot on normally there's still just that little bit of gapping on the inside here same as the other foot and I think kind of it's one of them sort of some horses manage to get away with a bit of a gap and I think you know if you're just kind of hacking down the road um you know probably not to too much of a concern but due to kind of you want to do you know endurance and go further I'd be less inclined to use anything that does have that gapping so we'll have a look at this 120 first oh yes good girl I know very very nosy she is very what nosy. i'm doing right so i put the 120 shell on and you want it to fit on you kind of want it to you know fit like a bit like a glove so it kind of suctions on that little bit yeah. like this. so she still has at the moment she's still got just kind of very slightly contracted heels so if i do put the <laughs> <Hi. laughs> don't fight so um i do put that one down if you allow me to basically what you're looking for so the way the flex boots fit obviously the back strap fits along here so you are, can actually allow for a little bit of a gap but you don't want the gap in all the way around so obviously at the front here i can barely get a nail down so it's kind of better then, for her misshapen hooves these ones then i'd say so they're just because they're just that little bit more flexible yeah um, they can just kind of like you know kind of work with the flare a little bit more yeah and obviously if i'm moving the shell like this you know they're not slipping and sliding around yeah. the foot or anything and if I get the 115, just as a comparison, it's only 5 mil smaller, but I can get barely get that. Yeah, I tried tizzies on her and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I can barely get that on the foot. And, yeah. and it's just funny because that's only 5 mil difference in the size. Signs of wear and tear, we'll start with the, um, the billets here. So you just want to, from time to time, just make sure they're still nicely screwed in. There's no kind of, you know, like they're not spinning around or, any, or loose. Um, if they are, it's just a case of a normal screwdriver, like that. And you screw, hold the screwdriver in, just give them and until they're nice and tight. And then the same with this one up here. So obviously these are all new, so there's no kind of movement. They're all nice and secure like that. Um, and then kind of anything kind of wear and tear. Thankfully, flex are actually really, really good. I've not yet had any problems. <laughs> Everyone shouting. <laughs> any problems? But you know, you just want to check kind of these back straps. You know, because obviously these do have like, they are kind of made of elastic material. So you just want to make sure, you know, they don't kind of weather or kind of split or tear or anything. So if you want to change the gaiters, so the gaiters come off very, very simple. Come off like this. And you've got the elastic strap on the back. So you just click them off like that. Then we'll change it for a nice blue one. through like this might be easier to find <laughs> in yeah. a dark room <laughs> <laughs> and you just want to make sure that the gator sits the uh, middle just sits in between these two two little silver rings here yeah. and it's just at the bottom here like this as well Perfect. and then you slot these through the hole so there's different slots so some horses do have slightly different settings but the kind of normal one is the last slot <laughs> and the first slot like that yeah and I've probably like been side. playing with Tizzy's have you? Ones yeah. to see which are best because it is a bit difficult because obviously some horses obviously the patterns are slightly different shapes yeah. and different sizes so it is you do have to have a little play from time to time like that and then there's two slots at the back so you have the lower slot and the higher slot tends to be anything kind of more cob type horse or heavy horse and um, with bigger heel bulbs tends to have the higher slot and anything kind of more thoroughbred um, sort of pony will have the lower slot for some reason because Arabs do have slightly more conformationally boxed feet than other breeds they can kind of go in between the two um, so sometimes if you they've got slightly higher heels they'll go on the upper, upper slot and sometimes I I'm not sure I'll be able to guess actually what she would be. Oh. I'll have to try both. Um, and sometimes they'll go on the lower slot. So it's a bit of a bit of a trial and error. 
Guest read your final boot fit. Okay, so we're ready to put them on. Let's do this blue. foot first. So you just want to make sure you just hold the gaiter back when you do put them on, just so you can get the toe in easily. <laughs> Nicely. So put the foot in, make sure it's nice and secure, there's no kind of movement, it's not you know falling on and off. Then put the foot down. Good girl. We'll do this quickly because I don't know if she's had things on her feet before. No, she hasn't. <laughs> Sometimes we'll just get a bit funny about it. She's not been too bad. So Good this girl. top strap here. Good girl. Good girl. You just want to make sure that doesn't have to be too tight. This is pretty much just if you ever lost the boot, the boot will still stay with you. Yeah. And that tucks through there and then oh, I think she's gonna be on the lower let's have a look at this lower one first stand still good girl stand still yeah that's better don't do that to a newbie <laughs> Estrid <laughs> um excuse me she's like I'm just testing them out for you are you being completely daft? I haven't even done it up properly yet. Excuse me, there is something attached. Well done. I know, let's not do that, please. Right, Good let's girl. do it up first, and then you can walk out in it. <laughs> You're a donut. Let's have a look. 